In this video, we're counting down the top 5 maps you must try in Farming Simulator 22. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe for more content just like this and leave a like as well and let's get into this first map which is called Somerset Farms. This map is based on various places across the UK, it's not on a specific location. There are over 50 mixed fields which consist of grass and arable fields and they all vary a little bit in size. There are five different animal yards with a mix of different animal types you can choose from and the animal yards also vary in size as well. With it being a British map, it's got multiple features to go and reflect this. One of them being that it's got British number plates on vehicles across the map which is a really cool feature. Also, one of the best parts about this map is that it's actually got custom lighting. This means that no other map will look quite the same because it's got custom files, so all the objects, animals, vehicles are all going to look slightly different, which is a really cool feature. There's also an area specifically designed for placing buildings as well, so if you like to go and build your own farm um, and build your own buildings, it's going to be perfect for that. The next map we're telling you about is called Huron County, Michigan. So this map is loosely based upon farms near Bad Axe, Michigan, and this is in the eastern part of the state. It's important to note that the map has been slightly altered to go and allow for more cell points and better forestry features for the map. And on this map, there are custom versions of all of the base game production factories. So this means they're gonna have higher speeds and increased storage capacities to make your gaming experience more efficient and fun. There's also a fertilizer factory and a forage mixing plant, which you aren't gonna find on many maps. Also, a really cool feature of this map is, is there's actually turbines already on the map. So when you purchase a piece of land that they're on, you're also gonna purchase them. And once you own them, you're then gonna generate an hourly income um, because you own the land they're on. And in this map, it's a huge map that's got over 215 fields, ranging from small to very large. And when you get this map, it's gonna come with 17 modded trailers, harvesters, and tankers, um, which can be a great fit for the map. The next map we're taking a look at is called Calmston Farm. So this map is actually based in Gloucestershire in the UK, and it's a replica of a frail farm and the surroundings. And one of the best parts about this map is, it's got this easter egg where it's actually got a real PDA map. So when you go and look at the map in the bottom left of Farming Sim, you're going to go and have an actual aerial photo of the air, which is really cool. And when it comes to graphics, this map is incredible and it probably beats the other maps. It's got custom lighting, custom animations and custom textures. And also the author and developer of the map has created 50 new HD models um, by themselves and you won't find them on any other map. With this um, Camston farm, there are 36 mixed size fields as well. And as well as this, there's also two placeable areas where you can build your own farm and place any buildings that you may want. And what a really cool feature is as well is there's actually a brand new fruit called linseed. The next map we're taking a look at is called Bakery Farm. Now this map is very unique because it's actually based on Brazil. That's pretty rare, there's not many maps based on it. One of the awesome things about this map is, is the fields are honestly huge. You aren't actually gonna be able to see the end of the field. It's all just gonna be sort of really far in the distance. It's a relatively flat map, but there are some tricky areas to deal with and navigate. You should check out the limestone mine. A truck is recommended and you're gonna find a challenge on the way there as well. It's important to note there is no snow in the winter season because this is the reality. The region is only cold and dry in the winter. This map is absolutely great for large machinery and building a huge farming empire. Due to the size of the maps, you can easily get big machinery around and you can have plenty of fields to go and farm and buy. And the last map that you must try is called Mecklenburg. So this map is actually set in the Mecklenburg Lake District in Northeast Germany. Even myself, I thought this was talking about the UK when it meant Lake District, but it's actually Lake District in Germany. With this map, there are 12 fields and three meadows, all which do vary in size a little bit, but overall the fields are generally quite big. You're gonna find a main farm with two cow sheds and one silo, but of course you can easily expand the farm. You can buy a field and place some placeables to go and make your own farmyard and add any sheds that you may need. Also a great part about this as well is it's got quite a big yard, so you can easily fit big machinery in to once again go and scale to a big empire because a lot of maps are quite tight and you can't always get big machinery around or it's a lot more difficult. And one big thing which stuck out for this map is, is the lighting. It's absolutely great and it's so many colors and textures and it's a really bright map compared to others. And I think it looks really well in Farming Simulator 22. If you've got any other great maps, please tell me them down below in the comments. Subscribe for more videos like this. Click one of the videos on the screen right now. Peace.